Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times, so Scar here, and welcome back to Stud Tech, where we take modded building to the extreme. And we're here in Scar Fort, working on the Fort Commander's house, where we've got a beautiful master bedroom plan with all sorts of awesome details. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome to Stud Tech Frontier out here in our Wild West build, and things are coming together. We've gotten this place to a point where I feel I'm. Pretty well set with the way things are coming out and I think we need to finish up our garden front here get that all sorted out we'll do that on Twitch I think that would be super fun so follow me in the link down in the description so you'll be notified when I go live on Twitch and where we do that and of course we've got our living room all set up with our chairs and couches and our fireplace looking all super awesome and of course our kitchen in here and our dining room down that hallway and I think my favorite room and let me know so far what is your guys's favorite room so far in the fort commander's house but i feel like the office is kind of my favorite i feel like it has the most detail it's got that beautiful shelving units in the back which are actually functional with actual storage built in and of course we have our fireplace and all sorts of other little details inside here and i think that's my favorite so far but maybe today we'll change that with our master bedroom and of course in our last episode we built this area we got this all spruced up and ready to go but yeah, let's get right into it today. And of course, this is our room. So let's grab out our pallet of materials, set down our crafting bench, and let's get started. So first thing we need to do, we need to open up this and get some light in here. There we go, looking good. And we'll swap over here, grab ourselves out our panes and add those in there like that. And yeah, look at the cool view out this window. We can see the sun setting, got some plants in the flower boxes. Looking good. There we go. Just those small little details are what really makes things stand out. Now the windows are going to be a little bit blank and bland at the moment, but believe me, we're going to get those things looking super awesome very soon. Okay, so we got some work to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on our bed. Now I wanted something for this room that, you know, was, was unique, something cool, something unique for the bed. So we're going to do a custom four poster bed. Now as you can see, we're getting our micro blocks out. And as you can see, we've got our pillows set up. Now we're going to grab out our green wool slabs. And we're just going to do these to about there. Awesome. All right. So we'll cover those up, grab out as many of these pieces as we need. There we go. And now we're going to start to add some details on the side. Now we could do these giant ones on the side like so. Or we could do something like this. It kind of shows the bottom. I kind of feel like the big ones are where we want to go. But if you know something different, definitely let me know. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place these blocks on either side like that. There we go. Sneak on on the other side. There we go. Awesome. And then we'll come over here and then we're just going to start bringing these guys up like that. There we go. And we'll sneak over here and do the same. And you can kind of get an idea of how the four poster bed is all going to come to be once it's all complete. And, you know, I just didn't feel like doing just a standard uh, deco craft bed would be right for the fort commander so i think the extra work we're going to put into this to make this all custom will really make the room kind of stand out now for some of the other furniture in the room we are going to use deco craft so we're going to use some of the cool little furniture pieces and i think it'll be kind of fun to use some of those there we go and i'm going to bring these all the way over there we go looking good oh i'm loving it so far all right and i'm just going to bring these guys in there like that and there we go, starting to look pretty cool. Nice, I'm actually super happy with it. Um, these pieces are a little bit throwing me for a loop and I kind of feel like I'm gonna back off on those and maybe just add a slightly smaller piece going, oh, there we go, that's way more proportion. It looks way better than that. Nice, wonderful, awesome. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get something out that's real, oh, hello. There we go, we're gonna get something out that's pretty darn cool, so watch this. We're gonna put a, this right there and look at this. Oh my gosh, it's like magic. Oh, it's like magic, look at that. Oh, I love it. All right, so this gets kind of tricky because sometimes these things don't wanna cooperate and I only have four of these. So let's bring those across there. Um, these needed to be taken from the inventory because there's a conflict within mod. Um, so it was kind of a tricky to actually obtain these. So I only have four of these. So that's kind of a bummer a little bit. Um, so as you can see, 
to make these kind of do what I want, I need five, but I don't want to have to do what I did to get these again because that was a pain. There we go, because I don't have time to mess with the conflict files and stuff like that right now because that's a bit of a bit of a bother so for now this one's going to be open like that we'll close it in just a little bit but at least you can kind of get the idea of how the four poster bed is all going to come together but yeah so i had to go into the uh too many items or whatever it's called and get these out unfortunately um let's see let me bring this piece down here let me grab that and let me just fill this in like a so there we go there we go, that looks good. Um, yeah, so that was kind of unfortunate because there's a mod conflicting with the other one. So this is Molasses Stores and Extra Utilities was conflicting with it. So hopefully we can sort that out and get that fixed because that was a bit of a pain. There we go. And yeah, look at that. That is looking good, I love it. This, of course, this is bugging me. So uh, I want that one to face the other way, but it seems the only way to actually get it to work is to have another one right next to it. But uh, yeah, I think that is looking good for now. Awesome. Okay, so let's clear those out. Let me jump over here. Let me grab out this backpack. And where do I hide those extra blocks? Where are they? There you are. I knew you were hiding from me somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over here, put that in, and grab ourselves out some green carpet. But yeah, once I took those out of the inventory, um, I was able to just dump off some extra wool that I would have used to make them. So it was all on the up and up, and I didn't, you know, you know, cheat any of it because I gave them the actual inventory um, wool that I was going to use. So just to make sure everything was on the up and up, so there wasn't any uh, cheating. Just uh, took them out, dumped the wool that I was going to use to craft them, and then, um, yeah, so I'll see if we can get that mod fixed because it's a bit of a pain. And I know if you guys want to do this too, if you're on stud tech and you're following along, um, we'll see if we can get those mods to stop conflicting with each other. There we go. Grab out all those extra materials. Looking good, looking good. And we'll cut those pieces out like so. Get that one in there. And we'll fix that one way back there. And yeah, that is looking good, looking good. Wonderful. Okay. Um, next thing we want to do here is grab out, let's see, is this the right block? Yes, and there it is. Okay, all right, okay. So what we're, we're going to do here is we're just going to remove this line of blocks along here. And this just gives the floor a little extra detail so it's not a wide expanse of the, you know, the oak. So it just gives it, breaks it up a little bit. And it has kind of a nice old-fashioned feel how a lot of wood floors in the past once worked is they had these extra little layers of detail across the sides of the room and a different color of the main wood. So I think that'll look really good. So I'll bring that all the way across like that. And as you can see, things are starting to come together. So let me finish this and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. We've got our bed all assembled. We have our decorative detail around the room all set. So now what we need to do is go into our magical inventory and start adding some detail. So let's get out a couple things that we have in our inventory and we'll see how we can kind of add this around and kind of make it really pop, all right? So let's see what we can do here. So over here, I thought what we could do, and now some of these can be a little tricky to place and that's kind of a bit of a pain, but we'll figure it out. So something like that. Oh, I need another one of these to go all the way across. So hold on, we'll go down and get some more of those in a little bit. All right, and then let's head over here. And what I thought we could do is maybe do a wardrobe in the center here. So let's clear that out and find a good spot like right there. Let's clear that. There we go. Awesome, wonderful. And then let's see whatever we got in here. Let's see what else we can do to make this room really pop, okay? Um, I was thinking just like a harp, just, just like a cool little harp over here. Um, there we go, put that like right there. Oh, things are starting to come together. All right, and then we'll just keep these lights in here just for now so that we can see what we're doing until we get our official lighting for the room all set and ready to go. Um, so we're gonna need a chair and the extra mirror for that other area. Um, let's see, oh, here we go, let's do some of these. These are what I wanted for right here. Oh, that looks great, that looks great, awesome. All right, and I should have some mirrors and some shelves. So I'm gonna put some shelves along here. So let's do some shells right about here and here and there and there. And that is starting to look good, okay? And now for that stuff, let's do maybe like a bottle. I thought maybe we could do a little bottle on this one. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we'll do, I keep going to my inventory and forgetting to go into my backpack. There we go. And we'll do these two items along here. Now we might not be able to actually place that with that shelf up there. So that's a thing. That's a thing. Let's see, let's try, let's, let's put that right here. Okay, we'll put that right there. We'll do another shelf. Where's my shelves? There's my shelves. We'll do another shelf right here. Put that right up there. We'll do the music box on top of that. And voila, we've got it. And we'll cut this one out to make it even on both sides. And maybe we can think of some other details to put over there for now. And look at that, I actually went into the right backpack that time. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm thinking about a rocking chair and of course a baby cradle. I think a baby cradle might be look kind of cool in here. And then I'm thinking of putting this at this angle right there. Mm, that looks kind of weird. Uh, let me back that off just a smidge bit and do it about right there. For, mm, I don't know. I'm going to hold off on that for a second. Um, we'll wait till we get the crown molding built in. And let's hit that right now. So let's grab that. There we go. And now what we need to do is start to add the details around the windows. So this is one of my favorite things about the house is adding these small fine details into it to really make it pop and give it that old fashioned feel. There we go. And then we'll put those across there like so. And then we just run these guys all the way along here. Now this is where things get a little tricky. So let's bring this over here. And as you can see, we're meeting up with this oak wood. And that's what I want to incorporate into the kind of design of the room. Now what I was talking about being tricky is kind of incorporating that into the outside of the house. So that's where a couple little tricks are gonna come in using some carpenter's blocks to kind of make sure that we retain our outside design, which is our spruce wide planks. We don't want, you know, just some random you know, oak sticking out. So that's where we're gonna use some carpenter's blocks to fix that. There we go. And then of course we just bring these guys along there like this. Oh, oh, oh once in a while you get a couple scar mistakes. There we go and bring that across to there, and then we'll sneak one in the middle and then bring an extra row down like that, beautiful. So as you can see, this is kind of the design we're going to carry on through here. So yeah, I'll meet you in just a second once I get this area all removed and incorporated into Carpenter's Blocks. All right, and welcome back. So as you can see, when we take out those blocks across there, these little pieces of it will still show up. So the way around that is to place these onto the Carpenter's Blocks, there we go, and then let's sneak back into the house and we'll round the corner and take a look at our progress. So as you can see, that looks kind of hokey. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna place these blocks over here to make it all match, and we'll fix those blocks like so, and then we'll bring our oak in like that, and then it matches the rest of the room and is looking super fancy, all right? And now let's see, let's see, let's grab out these guys and I'm gonna replace this with a larger windowsill. See how that looks a little bit better as a larger windowsill? You can see it over there looking much better. All right, so let's finish this little area that we hadn't completed in the prior section. There we go. And place a little chair there. I wish there was a better chair or something that matched a little bit better, but that was the closest I could come to. There we go, get rid of the light. There we go. And as you can see, I've moved these shelves away from the wardrobe. And I kind of feel like it really opens it up and makes it look a little bit better. So I've got two options for this side for decorations. We got this cool little toy soldier and we've got this giant. Oh, okay. That's huge. It's not going to fit at all. Unfortunately. Oh man, this thing would have looked awesome. Oh, well, well, we wouldn't put that there. Apparently we'll put a toy soldier here. Come on, toy soldier. Why aren't you working? There you go. He looks a little small. Maybe we could find something a little bit bigger, but for now, I think that looks pretty good. We've got our crib all set up. We've got our bed and all the little details in the room have finally all come together. I'm looking for my steak. There it is. And I think everything is kind of feels awesome in here. I think it just kind of has a good feel to it. All the furniture feels kind of natural, like it's supposed to be here and uh, it's all proportioned and yeah. But if you have any other suggestions on how to improve this room, definitely let me know. And yeah, so that kind of wraps up our bedroom there. And we've got a little bathroom to build here. And of course we have two more rooms over there. And of course our library. So I've decided to put a library into here. It'll have a fireplace and some chairs and some bookcases and all sorts of good stuff. And I think that'll look pretty good. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos are the rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later.